Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 10th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we're going to see how we can convert an array to a string in Perl. So we're going to work with a script called array underscore to string and in this script on line number 5 I have created an array variable called instruments and it has the values guitar, piano, flute and violin and uh, what I want to do is I want to uh, change this array variable to a string and retain these values and of course when you're going to combine these values and make a string you'll have to put uh, some kind of a glue to bind these elements together because these are discrete values you know guitar is different from piano and piano is different from violin so when you put these together you would have to use uh, some kind of uh, uh, you know a character combination or even you know just one character to separate these uh, elements and uh, also have them together in one string so you know that character could be a comma it could be a colon it could be space or it could be anything the combination that I have uh, chosen for this tutorial is uh, a combination of two asterisks right and uh, instead of these uh, uh, characters you could have your name your pet's name your neighbor's name any uh, you know character combination would serve the purpose but uh, before we get to that, uh, on line number 7 I have a print statement that's first going to display the text instruments array and then uh, it's going to show the contents of the instruments array and you know it's just going to list out these elements on the screen and then on line number 9 I have created a scalar variable called my underscore string and uh, this is obviously the string in which we want uh, these items to be put together and uh, the function or the subroutine that you use to convert an array in Perl to a string is called join right and rightly so because we are joining these elements together to form a string and uh, it accepts two arguments the first one is your glue which uh, in my case is uh, you know a combination of two asterisks and you have to pass this glue in string form as well which means you would either have to pass this within double quotes or within single quotes and uh, the second argument is uh, the array variable from which you want to pick the elements so that in our case would be instruments and uh, that's it this is going to do the job for you and then on line number 11 I have a print statement that's going to display this string to me and uh, not before it displays the text instrument string so we're going to first see instruments array and then we're going to see instrument string so without further ado let me make sure this file is saved I'll uh, press F5 to see the output so there we go we see that instruments array has guitar piano flute and violin four distinct elements and then the instrument string has guitar then the glue of two asterisk characters and then piano and then flute and violin so that's it for this tutorial I hope you guys had fun watching this video you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'm gonna see you in the next video in which we'll check out more interesting pearl concepts and uh, that's it for now see you in the next video till then take care